Right, we're going to begin creating our escutcheon by creating a plane. So I create a plane and convert it to a poly mesh 3D. And then from here, I'm going to subdivide it. Now, first of all, I'm going to turn off smooth and divide it several times, pretty much until we get to about a million polygons. So once that's divided, I turn off polyframe, and I go to my brush, and I dock it to the left there so I get the options. I'm going to import the alpha I've created. And this alpha is simply created by um, a black and white image in Photoshop with a bevel on there. Now you can see the brush is actually curved. This is because of a, a fall off in the brush itself. And we want ours to be flat so we get all our detail from the alpha. So I'm going to take this adjust curve and make it flat across the top. Now, when we draw our brush on the plane, as we look from the side, it will be completely square. Okay, so undo that. I'm going to store a morph target. And once that's done, draw my thing. Now, store a morph target allows us to create a difference from our morph target. So it looks at what it was like before and what it was like after. And presto, we have our escutcheon. Okay. All I'm going to do now is just relax it to get rid of some of these woolly edges and a polish, which I found in the deformations menu, and put a little bit of a gold material on so we can see how it's going to look. And I'm just going to do some very, very quick down and dirty sculpting. you got to remember, this is going to be a tiny, tiny detail on our final model. We're not going to be having a camera pan around our escutcheon. This is just something that's going to be a tiny little detail. It's worth noting, this video is real time. It's not sped up. Okay, so now I'm going to go and dock Def Decimation Master over to our part on the left and uh, pre-calculate. Like I say, this is real time, so it's not taking too long. And I'm going to drop it down to 10,000 polygons and decimate. And there you go. And again, it's a bit ropey, but like I say, bear in mind how big this is actually going to be on your final model. Now simply export this out as an OBJ 